Welcome back, everybody, to another exciting episode from the Monumenta server, the Minecraft CTM MMO experience in uh, in beta still. I am standing in the town of Nier. This is episode number nine, by the way. Episode number nine brought to you by Cornflakes. Uh, I'm standing in the town of Nier to the west, off in that direction, not visible from this distance, is the main town. And to the east is our objective. You can see there's some, uh, I don't know, look at, like puddly stuff. Looks like there's a puddle over there. I don't know. The uh, tree house, tree fort kind of thing. We've been here before. I've been doing exploration here and there off, uh, off screen. I've sort of been uh, taking stock of what the NPCs have to offer. For instance, like uh, this guy offers a pretty decent jagged cleaver for 64 experience. And this guy has pretty decent armor. Protection 2, Unbreaking 3 for 32 of these bottles. That is not too bad. The Unbreaking 3 is the important part. Finding armor with Unbreaking is pretty nice. Pretty rare, at least for me so far. I still have kind of newbie gear. Oh, what's down here? Oh, you? Oh, you must be a uh, quest giver. The ones with the pressure plates and the orange names are quest givers. So, we've done a, normal, a number of these point of interest mini dungeons that reset like every half an hour. Getting gear, getting experience, having some funsies. Uh, but really, I want to get to the real meat of the experience, the, the wool dungeons, which I've been told the white wool dungeon, since it is, uh, it's balanced for three people, it's kind of like, uh, it's, people keep telling me it's much more difficult than just an ordinary white wool dungeon that you would expect from an ordinary CTM. So I've been really uh, excited to find it, and I haven't been able to find it. They're still adding things like quests to the server. Uh, there's a reason it's still in beta. There's still content to be added. I think they... I don't know if they actually added it, but they recently teased the light blue wool dungeon, which is the fourth wool dungeon. Uh, so not even that many wool dungeons in the area. Only one area for plots, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, somebody let something slip. It was, I guess you could kind of call it a spoiler. They said something about um, the Monument Guardians or the Wool Guardians, something significant that you would know. If you knew to look for it, you could uh, maybe determine what, which one of these little point of interest guys was a... Whoa, gosh. Holy moly. Was a... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. He, he kind of threw me off my train of thought there for a second. You could tell if you could uh, look out for these guys, you would be able to know that that was the... the, uh, the uh... The entrance, where you could find the entrance to one of the wool dungeons, the teleporter. And I was thinking it back, uh, from all the different point of interest little micro dungeons I've experienced or come across, some of them explored fully, a lot of them not. And I remembered this place. Um, let's grab our quest compass, Tlaxon Ziggurat, respawning in 29 minutes. Okay, I also uh, set up a tiny little farm plot. And I made myself a bunch of baked potatoes so my food stacks better. Takes up less space. We're gonna try out this spot. It has a nasty mob that spawns from these guys. That is a, uh, it's a wither skeleton. And yeah, they wither. So, um, I don't wanna fight them. I mean, I wanna fight them, but I don't wanna fight them with my sword, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna do that. I, th I, think, uh, I think bright light shuts those down. I'm not 100%. Um, we probably want to get to the meat of the thing is probably going to be inside. So we're going to do a little razzle-dazzle here. We might break uh, some spawners hither and thither. Um, but there are more spawners up above me. So it's probably best to go to the top if we can and then work our way down. I'm just... I don't want to take too much damage, but if I just juke him ever so slightly... You, I can't really juke. Oh, multiple skeletons. Okay. All right. Um, retreat. Retreat. Just give him a juke. We're lighting up spawners. Here's another one. Juking him. Okay, now we're here to that one. There's a creeper. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm hitting too many buttons. There's the entrance. All right. Lighting up spawners. Bob and weaving. Okay, so there are blazes inside there. That's fantastic. That's always my favorite. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Tiny amount of lag. 
They've started uh, replacing a lot of the command block stuff with plugins, and that has helped lag out quite a bit. Oops, okay. Got you. Whoa, where'd you come from? Okay, I'm juking you. They came from up, I wonder if there are spawners way up on the top skis. And my health is not full, which is no good. Got you. Always gonna keep that health topped up. Check out the armor durability. Watch out for your six. See who's getting snucked up on. Is it the enemy or is it yourself? All right, I killed a few of those guys. Let's run around, back around this side. Um, I suppose if we can get into the inside, we don't really need to take care of these exterior spawners too much. I didn't see any loot chests on the outside. Dude. Oh, okay, we out. We out! No one to run. Number one skill. Oh, God. Okay. Um, running away. Holy crap, I made a really big mistake there. Trying to uh, light up the spawner. Spazzed a little bit. Freaked out. Panicked. Knocked that guy down. Okay, now we just need to heal up. I guess we'll take out the spawner while we can. While I'm waiting for my satiation to run down a bit. Use my line of sight. Yeah. Skeletons. Dangerous. Um. Ah, great. Okay. Juke him a bit. Light that up. Whoa! Holy moly. Oh my gosh, my camera's going crazy. I wonder if my there's a problem with my mouse. I've had this problem a few times now where my mouse seems to become incredibly sensitive all of a sudden. Okay, we need to just... Let's just leave. Um, I'm freaking out a little bit. And I am uh, not making good decisions. And things are going to be falling on my head. I don't want to hang out here. Yeah, my mouse. What is going on? It just suddenly, like, shifted to where I'm looking straight down at the ground. Oh, it's doing it again! I wonder if... Is there something on my mouse? Why is it doing that? That is really throwing me off. That is making it really hard to play. Having the, uh, the screen shake around like that. Uh, I'm not blaming it on the server. It's probably some mechanical error with my hand, like maybe I'm just freaking out. Or maybe there's a piece of dust on it or something. Okay, don't want to fight the guardians. Divide and conquer. Divide the enemies, then conquer them. Don't be afraid to give them some jukes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Camera. Camera, camera, please. Okay, maybe we uh, should go to the top. Oop, okay. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I hit some weird setting on thing. Okay, uh, let's go... Oh, no, let's break this. Okay, worth it, I guess. Got a spawner. Now we need to get inside. My armor's taken a decent amount of damage, but we've taken out uh, a lot of the upper-level spawners. Okay. Um, let's see, what did I have there? I had a health potion. Saved my butt skis a minute ago. No, oh, great. Yeah, a little bit of lag there. Okay. Whatever. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure... Oh yeah, a little bit of server lag there. They are spawning from the top. Let's go to the top of this sucker and see what we find. Kind of wondering, there's got to be spawners up here, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, got him. Take out that. Take out that. And then we have to get to the inside. 
Um, can we just make a little time? Let's check the timer again, see how much time we have left. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Shift right click. 23 minutes. All right. I took out a lot of the exterior spawners. Let's break our way down into... Okay, that's not going to quite work. Nor is that. All right, I guess we go this way. And uh, we're going to be very careful. Can't seem to place any blocks. Maybe I was in the way? Oh, there's a mob right there. Yep, okay. Here we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. Um, all right. <laughs> Maybe this is not the best way in. Maybe I should have gone in the front door, like uh, originally. Oops. Oh, I'm on fire. That's not good. Okay, at least uh, a lot of the mobs from the spawners down there can't really get to me too well. I do have Feather Falling 1, as much as that's worth, I suppose. Okay. Uh, all right, maybe we do go in the front. Any other mobs down there? There's a uh, creeper and a skeleton. I've got knockback one on the bow. Okay, he got knocked back. And the problem is I am standing within the range of... Uh... Now why did you blow up? You get hit by a... Come on. All right, got him, I guess. I'm standing in a range of those spawners in there, which is going to cause all kinds of problems. Oh, there's one. All right, I just want to make a little barrier there. And then get the hell out of dodge. Okay. Heal up. Whoa! You are fast, buddy. What do you got on your feet? Got you. Okay. Uh, armor starting to break. This room might be a bit trickier to break into than I thought. Yeah, we're getting some server lag here. And I got knocked off and down to half health. Yeah, this is dangerous. Oh, gosh. Um, crap. Okay. Yep, running. Holy crap. Okay, heal me, please. And heal up, please. Okay. Taking out a spawner. I, I realized I, uh, I missed one over there. Only got the one more healing potion on me, so I... Maybe that was, that was a bit risky, not using it there. This spawner probably is not 100% shut down, either. Ah, uh, whatever. Got you. Whew. Okay, got you. All right, lag. Okay, he's dead. And there's one spawner there still. Just blow up, please, all right? Oh. Oh, I bet the creep. I had it lit up, but the creeper blew the the light off. I'm think kind of thinking about um, with how erratic the skeletons are with their strafe. I'm sort of. Th Thinking about the idea of uh, switching to a sword instead of an axe, because they're so erratic, those skellies. Okay, we're doing this. Gotta block it off. Can't be getting set on fire. Start taking out these spawners. Oh, those are creepers. Okay, then let's go in through the side here. Start to take out these spawners. See if we can make some headway. Okay, oh, I see a whole bunch of... Oh, a creeper blew up a loot chest. That's what happened. I was going to say, did somebody die in here? No. 
Just a loot chest got kerblooied. Okay, there's a way out there. I'm just trying to make sure I don't back up into something important. Those pants look pretty fancy. Okay, let's see if we can get in here and at least get some gear. I don't know how far we'll be able to get in. Maybe I was a bit too slow with this run. There's a whole bunch of stuff there. Okay, we made it in. Uh, what can we drop so that I can... Let's drop the stairs and the onesies and that and that and that and that. Let's see what all we pick up and then start making our way down. Woo! Okay, this is a little bit more like it, isn't it? A little bit more intense. Uh, my gear is doing very bad, though. Un oh, that one's okay, I guess. You missed. Please come down. Okay, got you. Um, well, at least... Okay, I've got stuff to replace it with once we... Oh my gosh, my, my mouse is going to get me killed. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of creepers. That is a lot of creepers. Why is my camera shaking so much? Okay, uh, how many arrows I have? 46, all right, creeper time. Yeah, my mouse is going cr I wonder if I hit the sensitivity thing to make it more sensitive. So there's a there's a button on the bottom of my mouse that I just hit a bunch of times. It changes the DPI. I'm wondering if I hit that by accident and made my mouse more sensitive. That's the only thing I can really think of that would do something like that. I don't know. Just sort of thinking out loud. Why my mouse is freaking out so much lately. Although it's only kind of when I play on this server. Maybe it isn't uh, one of the lag side effects or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kill him. Okay. 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 Fine. It's fine. Uh, we're running low on food. It's okay. We're going to make it work. We are going to... Oh, that's lava. That's bad. That's bad. I don't like lava. Oh, lava's bad. Okay. Go back upstairs. All right. All right. All right. I'm trying to build a staircase, fools. Oh, you just fell out of there. All of these freaking blocks are stairs. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I think there's one. Yeah, there's one on my left as well. And he can't quite path to me. Please don't shoot me, guy down there that I can hear. Okay, lovely. That's a hole. Okay, check the timer again. Uh, 14 minutes. Okay, I, th I think we're still okay. Just uh, play smart. Don't panic. Much as you wanna. Shoot him again. Use your bow. Use your skills. Use your woods. I don't know where he went. Did he fall in the lava? I'm not sure. Kind of freaking out here. We are kind of freaking out here. Uh, let's light this up for any other kind of shenanigans there might be. I am... Oh, God. That's a lot of dudes. Okay, kill the, the shooty guy with fire in his heart. Okay, and then we need to get over there. Without them murderings me. Oh, God. There's a chest. Looks pretty important. A lot of creepers. Um, I just have to outrace the spawner, basically. I'm out range of the the blaze spawner. It's not burning. Oh, and I am out of arrows. Okay, great. Got to do it like that. <laughs> There's no other way for me to catch up. I don't know. I don't think it's enough. Okay. Uh, I should have taken out the blaze spawner first. That is colored glass. Okay, what do we got here? We've got gear. Let's dump some useless crap. 
Pick up the gear. We're going to look at it later. Um, I don't want the string. I think we're safe. In this one spot, do I want the chicken meat? I guess I'm still kind of, ooh. Ladders, huh? All right, uh, let's see. We've got a versatile ax. That looks pretty good. Extra shield, sure. All this experience stuff is very good for buying items. And a little mini potion. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. Here we go. What's this all about? I guess we're gonna find- I don't like going down ladders, because this, like, sometimes these are, um, really tricksy piston traps that just basically screw you right over and- tell you what, we'll do this. Um, it seems like this is not a piston trap, but if we need to go up in a hurry, we can go up the ladder. If it's a piston trap, we won't get pushed off. Flowers, that's weird. Skull. Okay, it was not a piston trap, but you never know. Um, the piss- the- the trap that gets you is the one you're not looking for. Halls of wind and blood. White wool. Teleport to white wool dungeon lobby. Two ways. Whoa-ho! Uh, do not place blocks on here. This is where players will teleport back to when leaving the dungeon lobby. Yo-yo! Hey, we did it, friends! We found the white wool entrance! Anything back here? A little secret? A little secret? No. Okay, uh, you know what? I want, uh, some souvenirs. I don't need that chest. Give me those souvenirs! We did it, uh, was that suitably intense for you? Are you satisfied now, doubters? Here we go. White wool lobby room. Look at this guy. Uh, okay. Can only be used if you have purchased lobby quick travel. We did! We did that last episode! Back to the capital, back to the overworld. Can be used by everybody. Okay, but we don't need to do that anymore. We can go directly to the teleporter in the main city of Sirhaven. Here is my ender chest. Use a bunch of my gear. Um, uh, I'll, I'll explain later how I spent my gear, uh, or I spent my, my experience money, the currency, on uh, finding gear. Let's see what these guys have to say. Are these vendors? Gatekeeper. Grants access to the white... We need 20 of those. Oh my god. I just spent all my experience uh, trying to make uh, custom gear with the custom gear crafting system. I don't. We can't buy that just yet. You have the same thing. Okay, so we need to get some experience before we can enter this dungeon. Huh? Um, I will look at the tutorial stuff later. Buy dungeon access. Enter a dungeon that you have already unlocked. Enter fresh dungeon. Three plus players. So uh, it looks like you buy the the white stained glass from the vendor, and you put it in the item frame right there. Oops. Oh, I haven't seen item frames before. I kind of want an item frame. <laughs> uh, oh, I can do this. Okay, free item frame. Oops. Um, what's this say? Buy dungeon access. Oh, it's the same thing. Somebody put a piece of bread there? All right. Funny enough. Same thing. Very cool. Yeah, so I wonder if uh, that Talaxan Guardian guy on the outside, which I quickly ran by, but he was there a uh, an Ender... Or no, a, a Wither Skeleton that I did not want to deal with because he would wither you, and that's a bad, bad idea when there's Skeletons shooting you. But it uh, seems like he's the hallmark for the POIs that are entrances to the dungeon. You have discovered... Oh my gosh, my, do you see my screen flipping around? Is it obvious on YouTube, or can you not really tell? But it, it is really throwing me off. You have discovered a white wool dungeon. Step on the pressure plate to read some information. Wool dungeons are the biggest and most dangerous areas in the world of Monumenta. Upon completing a wool dungeon, you obtain a spe uh, specific wool block, as well as a bunch of powerful loot. After beating all wool dungeons of a region, you gain access to the next region. Currently in the, uh, the beta of Monumenta, there's only one region so far. This region, Kings Valley, contains five wool dungeons. Currently only three. I think they maybe just released the fourth, or they're about to. Whenever you complete a wool dungeon... There's also a bonus dungeon. Whenever you complete a wool dungeon for the first time, you also gain a skill point. That's what we want. The class-specific ability. Sweet. Uh, how do I unlock a wool dungeon? 
You need three people. I intend to uh, solo this. I'm just going to have to find somebody to help me open it so I can do it by myself. Uh, they, they do that for lag reasons, so that there's only so many instances open at any one time. Once your group is complete, put the key into the item frame and press the lower button. Your whole group now is actually a bit of a bit. Okay. How do I bring a new player into an unlocked? Well, done. don't care. How long and how often can I access it? Once a week, right? Um. Oh, you have access to it all, all week. Um, but they're reset once a week. Okay, so once I've bought that key, I can just come and go. That's nice. Good. So I can bring in like fresh food. Almost ran out of food. All my oh my gosh, all my armor nearly broke. I kind of want this to break because it's got curse of binding. But uh, there we go. White Wool Dungeon entrance found. Um, oh, is that a that's is that the number one? Maybe. Kind of looks like the number one, but with some weird extra bits. Okay, can only be purchased if you have purchased uh, quick travel from the lobby. We did that. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, I do need to farm up some gold. I might do a live stream where I just uh, take on the extra, the little POIs and uh, like I farm up experience. I'm going to keep the uh, the wool dungeons as the YouTube series, I think, from this point out. And the, uh, the random, like, uh, ex exploring on the server will be for the live streams and the POIs and getting experience and building on the plot, all that kind of stuff I'll do on a live stream. But uh, the wool dungeons will be 100% YouTube. I think that's the way I'm going to do it. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.